I made up some rules in D&D that lets you give a gun to your familiars. I see all these clips of Pal World, and I'm jealous that in my D&D game, my little muskrat familiar can't be a musket rat. So here's how you homebrew tiny guns for tiny animals in D&D. This can be used as a fifth level warlock invocation if you have Pact of the Chain, which we will call Dark Blessing of Caliber. It can also be a sixth level artificer infusion or just a magic item you give to a player, which we will call Mini Musket. If it's an artificer infusion, artificer? Artificer? Whatever, I'm just gonna say Artificer. If it's an Artificer infusion or magic item, it lets you learn the Find Familiar spell and it lets you cast it as a ritual. The basic idea is this. When you summon your familiar, be it imp, quasit, bird, spider, frog, rat, whatever, that familiar gets a little magic gun. The gun has a range of 60 feet, uses your spellcasting modifier for the attack rolls, and deals 1d10 damage. So your bird familiar becomes a desert eagle. But Bone Wizard, the familiar isn't allowed to attack. How is my bird supposed to be a foul cannon if he can't peacock his gun? Well, this invocation slash magic item allows you to use a bonus action to command them to attack slash kill a man in cold blood. This invocation comes with a no guilt guarantee. You didn't kill that guy, the parrot did it. But how is a bird supposed to even use a gun? Well, the musket is tailor-made for that creature, so they could carry the gun in a talon or a claw. The gun could hover near them and do a magneto impression. They could even have a back-mounted gun. Look at that. That cat is a tank now. A meowitzer, if you will. As you level up, the gun gets stronger. How, you ask? Simple. We add a second barrel onto our pet's gun at level 11, allowing them to attack twice on their turn when you use your bonus action to command them to shoot. So now our bird familiar is more like a gatling gun wielding gatling gull if a Gatling gun only shot twice every six seconds. So why add this to your game? Well, if Tiny Demon holding a musket didn't catch your interest, consider this. People want their familiars to feel useful, especially warlocks who took Pact of the Chain. Yes, they are better outside of combat, but it's nice to have this option. Keep in mind, the familiar with the most health is the imp with 10 HP. These things are fragile. Fragile. It must be Italian. Investment of the Chain Master makes them a bit tougher, but your imp is probably still going to die in like one or two hits. Three if they are very lucky. You know what would help keep these guys alive? Not being near the many things that will instantly kill them. So giving your little octopus a gun to make him a Glocktopus and putting him 60 feet away from danger is a good way to make sure he stays alive. That way he can contribute to a fight without being vaporized in the first turn but it's up to you to make sure you keep them out of harm's way. Also, if you're worried spending a bonus action to deal 1d10 damage is overpowered at level five, the Fathomless Warlock at level one gets a summon that can deal 1d8 damage as a bonus action, and each time it hits, it reduces a creature's speed, and also the summon is immortal. Look, I just want my little quasit to be useful in a fight, okay? I don't think that's a misplaced desire when we have a whole Warlock invocation dedicated to making your familiar better in a fight. I don't even like guns in D&D. I just like it when the little guys have little guns. There's, there's not much to it more than that. <clears throat> Now, some of you might think that giving a gun to a bird is really annoying. A raven has a 50-foot fly speed. How do I even deal with that? Well, that's why I added two optional rules to use if you see fit. These options take a carrot or stick approach for getting players to not have a flying gun-wielding bird. If you're interested in seeing those optional rules or to see Mini Musket and Blessing of Caliber in written form, check out the Google Doc. The link is in the description. So go play an artificer, go make a Mini Musket, and give it to a snake. And then the snake can be an ammo conda. And that's the last pun. Nope, I got one more. Bullet frog. Gatatouille. All right, that's the last one. Also, a mad people are calling Pal World Pokemon with guns. Digimon has held that title for far longer. Look at these guys. You're gonna disrespect Deputy Mon right in his face. Shame on you. If you YouTube search Deputy Mon, you will regret it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking the video, subscribing, commenting. All that stuff just helps me get into YouTube's confusing algorithm, and it just helps me pay rent. So thank you for doing that if you did. Shout out to the patrons, Panko6, Beefmaster, Copia, Manifesting, Nerd Enthusiast, BuddyB31, Hayden Tistammer, Me Dead, Swabby McGee, Valen, Volum, Zachalu, and Zethius. Thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are the best.